Duty's feet still waiting for the 12 volt flight. What the devil? Who's the duty where? Corporal Welton flying. Well, where the heck is he? Go and find him. Don't think he'll do much good, flying. Not much good. Well, he's gone up, flying. Gone up? How did you know the accused was up flying? Well, I saw him, sir. Zero Five was taxiing out and, well, the accused, uh, he, he kind of waved to me, sir. What do you mean he kind of waved to you? Show me. Well, sir, he, uh, I, uh, show me, show me. Yes, I see. The victory sign. Do you want to question the witness? No, sir. You can go, Jay. About turn. Quick march. Right wheel. Halt. Well, have you anything to say for yourself? No, sir. You realize this is a very serious matter? Yes, sir, but... Well, I, I never had the chance to fly before, sir. Well, if you're so keen on flying, why didn't you join his air crew in the first place? Oh, I did, sir. Hmm. Oh. Selection board turn you down? No, sir. They told me at recruiting centre I didn't sort of come up with the educational standards. Well, where were you educated? Elementary school, sir. I left when I was 14. Well, what made you master as a wireless electrical mechanic? Well, when I left school, I went into my father's wireless shop and I stayed there for about all six... All right, all right. We don't want to hear your whole life history. I should have thought, instead of taking illicit joyrides in Anson's, you would have been better employed in your spare time filling up the gaps in your education with the education officer. Yes, sir. But what do you mean, yes, sir? Well, I, I mean, that's what I do, sir, in my spare time. Uh, oh. Well, the fact remains that you've committed a very serious offence. I shall remind you to the commanding officer for punishment. Escort the accused, right turn, quick march, right wheel. Flight. Sir? Make a note of that boy's name, will you? In what connection, sir? Interview for air crew. Now tell me, what makes you want to fly? I don't know, so I just want to, that's all. I'm afraid you didn't do too well in your exams, Corporal. How was that? Well, I think it was the time limit, sir. I'm afraid I got a bit nervy. A member of air crew shouldn't suffer from nerves. Well, it, it, it's a different sort of nerve, sir. Is it? Supposing you were in a bomber coming back from Germany over the North Sea somewhere, and the captain had decided to ditch the aircraft. Now, he'd tell the navigator to work out the exact position for the SOS. And he might give us a time limit, say, as little as 30 seconds. Supposing you were that navigator. Oh, I, I want to be a pilot, sir, not a navigator. I'm sure you do. 90% of the men who come before this board want to be pilots. But you must realize that it's up to those who train you to decide what you're best fitted for. I can see you think that's going to be a pilot. I know it is, sir. All right, Corporal. We'll recommend you for air crew duties to the category of navigator, pilot, or air bomber. Oh, boy. I, I mean, thanks very much, sir. How much, sir? How's it going? Been here before? Uh, no, I, I used to go to the White City. You any good there? Well, I've got a system. My double traps one and six on each race. Don't you make any money? Name? Well, not exactly, but it's supposed to be a cracking good system. Hello, fill that in there. Name? Ainsworth. Christian names? Uh, John Arthur Fitzhard. 
F I T Z. That's right. I know. Fill that in in there, and when you've done that, hand it to the west over there. Name? Smith. S M I T H. Is it next? A little big, isn't it? You'll grow next. Eight, eight, ten, cha. Sit down, please. Firstly. I want to welcome you to the Royal Air Force. Many of you have waited a long while for this day. Now it's arrived. The training you will receive will be the best that human science and ingenuity can make it. You'll only be at this center for a few days, but those days will be devoted to the first requisite of flying training, physical fitness. Out together, out together, out together, wake up! Out together, out together, out together, out. Now with your arms raising and lowering sideways, ready, change, and stretch your fingers, slap your thighs. Out together, out. Come on, that's not good enough. I'll keep you here till next Tuesday fortnight, until we get it right. I say, old fruit, jolly good show the old alma mater put up in the boat race today. What, what, what? <laughs> good gracious, Mr. Rainsworth, this is a surprise. How are you, sir? Very well, thanks, awfully wide way, except that I feel like a fresher again. <laughs> I trust you'll be coming back to us, sir, after this trouble is over. I hope so, wide way. Depends how long the trouble lasts. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. May I see? Yeah, if you like. Charming. Are you married? No, we're going to be when this lot's over. It may be a long time, you know. You don't mind waiting. Better steer clear of the Canadian wafts when you get over the other side. Good Lord, our beds were hard. Not as hard as this. How many undergrads were in the room like this? Only one. As a matter of fact, we had two rooms, a bedroom and a sitting room. Gosh. You know, you make me feel like a bloated plutocrat. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Anyway, we're all in the same boat now. Weft. W-E-F-T. Weft. <coughs> Wings, engines, <coughs> fuselage, tailplane. Now, let me see. You, Wainsworth? Yes, you, Wainsworth. What's that one? It's a uh, uh, one one one, sir. Ainsworth, did you get that last sentence? Yes, sir. I think so, sir. Yes, sir. I have. The prime minister concluded his remarks with a quotation from Horace. Is that correct, sir? Quite correct, Ainsworth. Good work, Wilton. 
Kijk je ook al. Hey, Dave, isn't it time you took over instead of lying there like, like Cleopatra? Oh, I'd love to, Johnny, old boy, and you're so much better with that pole than I am. You wouldn't want me to prank the punt, would you, John? <laughs> oh, all right, you lazy son of a... But don't go to sleep. Now, give me some wingspans. Uh, what's a 109? 32. And a 110? 53. I wish I had your memory. Ah, it's my brains you want, chum. Oh, rot. It's not brains that make a pilot. It's blokes like me. Bet you I make a better pilot than you do. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. How much do you like to bet? Anything you like. An even quid? All right. Who'll be the judge? <laughs> you won't need a judge, but pretty obvious. I'll tell you that now. All right, then an even quid that I make a better pilot than you. Mm-hmm. Hey, Johnny, what the devil are you doing? I was thinking about tomorrow's navigation exam. If I'm not sitting next to you, I'm sunk. Well, there's no need to sink the boat. I was touching wood. <laughs> You've only got about ten feet of ruddy wood in your hand, you clot. <laughs> Good Lord, so I have. Hey, Johnny. Huh? Rather nice. Let me see, I think perhaps we'd better have you in alphabetical order. Uh, Ainsworth, will you take this desk here? The rest of you, sort yourselves out. <clears throat> You'd better get it into your head right away that good navigation is essential for any pilot, fighter, bomber or coastal. Yes, sir. I hope you won't fail me, sir. If you let me through, I'll do everything to get up to scratch. All right, Ainsworth. We'll accept your promise and give you a pass. But if you let me down... I won't, sir. I promise from now on I'll spend all my spare time on navigation. You're a friend of young Wilton's, aren't you? Yes, sir. Now, he's worked really hard in his navigation. Did us a damn good paper. Why didn't you copy him? I think he did try, sir. While you're here, you'll receive between seven to 12 hours flying. Then your ability as a pilot will be carefully assessed on a system of marks. Right, are there any questions? Excuse me, sir. What happens if some of these other chaps uh, don't go solo? Does it mean they won't be pilots? By no means. They'll have a better chance, that's all. That goes for you, too. What's your airspeed, Smith? What's your airspeed? Just put your goggles down, will you? Keep her nose on the horizon. Keep her steady. What's your airspeed, Smith? Keep your nose on the horizon. Keep it on the horizon. What's your airspeed? Your airspeed! Watch it! Goggles down, will you? Yes, sir. Now, do you know why that happened just now? No, sir. You don't think it might have been due to your pulling the nose up? Pulling the nose up, sir? Yes, Smith, pulling the nose up. Is that what I did, sir? Yes, Smith, that is what you did. Well, well. Glory be. As you say, Smith, glory be. 
Could we just try it once again? Let's best put those goggles down, will you? That was a pretty nice turn, Wilton. Now try and make another landing by yourself. If you remember what I told you, you'll find it's quite easy. All right, sir. the best of us. You made a good recovery. Have another crack at it. Well, apart from Smith, they seem to be coming along all right. Wilton's a bit of a puzzle, sir. Oh, how's that? Well, I don't know. He's a good lad, very quick and keen. I like him a lot, but his landings are still ruddy awful. Well, I'll see him when I test him. What about the other chap? Ainsworth? Yes. Oh, he's absolutely crackerjack. I've only given him five and a half hours, and I want you to test him for solo. <laughs> You're just shooting a line. Go away. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, sir, is there any chance yet of my being posted to a squadron? How many times have you asked me that in the last six months? Oh, about, uh, about three times, sir? Six times a week at least, I'd say, and the answer's still no. Get back to that crackerjack pupil of yours. I'll be seeing him in the morning. Yes, sir. On, sir. Let's go before he sees you've been watching. Okay. Good work, Johnny boy. Where are Fergie and the CFI? I thought they were watching. <laughs> they went into tea quite a time ago. Good Lord, do you mean to say they didn't even see it? What do you think, you silly clot? Oh, I'll give him tea. <laughs> Looks though Mark Quid's in danger. Well, that's all right. Fergie's always holding you up as an example hard to fly. No kidding? No kidding. My landings are so ruddy awful. And don't you worry, they'll be all right. Goodbye, sir. Good luck. Well, goodbye, sir, and thank you very much. All the best. Before we go, sir, couldn't you really tell us how we're done, sir? No, you'll hear soon enough at the distribution centre. No, sir, when I had my final test, the CFI told me he'd never seen anything at all like it in his life. Did he really say that? Yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, goodbye, sir. We'll be seeing you. Goodbye, sir. Pilot. 9832467 Cartwright RO Sir Navigator 9846321 Smith AT Sir Air Bomber 9842365 Harrison J Sir Pilot 9878963 Wilton DW Sir Pilot 9856591 Royston SO Sir Pilot The men whose names I have just read out and those previously selected as pilots will leave these sunny shores and proceed to the United States for training. Navigators and air bombers will go to Canada. California, here I come. <laughs>
anything you don't understand, for heaven's sake, don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what we're here for, to help you. Well, fellas, when I call your names out, leave the ranks and join your instructors over here. Cadets Johnson, Caper, Loring and Mills. Instructor John Lattimore. Lloyd Thompson, Sean Keeble. Instructor Earl Bryant. Well, my name is uh, Dean McWilliams. Just as soon as you can get used to it, I want you to call me Dean. Yes, sir. I mean, yes. Dean. Yes, Dean. Well, come on, we'll have a look at the ship. Oh, uh, of course, you fellas say aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> no, aircraft. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Well, here she is, whatever we call her. Uh, that's the tail, that's the wings, that's the fuselage, and that uh, twisted thing up there in front, that's a prop. Kind of elementary, eh, son? Well, we, we have seen an aircraft before, you know. Well, then, what would you say was the uh, function of the fuselage? Well, I suppose it's... Well, I mean, uh... well, I suppose I don't know. Well, what is its function? Keep the wings from touching the tail, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> How long should it be before we go solo, sir? Well, a uh, minimum of eight hours duel. Eight hours? But I've... Well, some of us have already gone solo. Well, then you, uh, uh, some of you, shouldn't find it difficult to make it in the time. The maximum is ten hours. What happens if we don't make it, sir? Don't worry, you'll make it all right. <laughs> We don't seem to be able to get those landings of yours right here, do we, David? No, I'm sorry, Dean. All right, cheer up and don't look so worried. Sorry. And don't be so sorry about everything. No, I'm so... <laughs> no. Uh, tell me, uh... You ever get away from camp? Well... Go out and enjoy yourself? No, not much. Well, what about coming down to my ranch this weekend? Meet the wife? Yeah, I'd like to. As a matter of fact, we always adopt a couple of you fellows on each course, just like the rest of the folks do around here. How would you like me as a foster parent? Well, I'd like it very much. Okay, then. I'm it. Now, uh, who else shall we adopt? Have you got any particular pal? Well, yes, there is someone I'd rather like to bring along. That is, if it's all right with you. Of course it's all right. Who is it? Well, it's John Ainsworth. Oh. Well, uh, uh, tell me, uh, do I get in that guy's hair as much as he gets into mine? <laughs> well, he's all right when you get to know him. At least I like him. Well, we've all got to make our little sacrifices, I guess. I'll adopt the little rat. <laughs> yeah, um, Oliver, that was his name. Got the DSO for that low-level raid on Amy Ann. Uh, 21 course, I think it was. Uh, will you stop bobbing up and down like that? Sit down, John. Pay no attention to that husband of mine. He never did have any manners of his own. Oh, is that so? Yes, darling, that is so. <laughs> uh, David, uh, pass you on the cheese, will you? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, this Oliver kid was flying solo one day. He had just about three hours to his crib. What's the matter with the cheese? Well, nothing, nothing at all. Well, don't you want any? Well, yes, I'd love some after I finish my pie. Well, why after? Well, isn't that the orthodox way of eating cheese? Here, John. You try some. It's awful good. Oh, I see. This is the orthodox way. You know, kids, you give me one hell of an inferiority complex. You know, you give me one, too. Do I? Is that so? <laughs> well, well, what do you know about that? <laughs> well. Don't look so pleased about it, honey. Uh, go on about Oliver. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, this Oliver kid was flying solo one day when his fuel started to give out. Good, isn't it? Uh, Mary, give him some more. Uh, well, what do you think this Oliver kid did? Well, he cut off his engine, called up the control tower and said, What do I do now? 
Chester. <laughs> well, if you all will excuse me, I really must go wash those dishes. No, I'll come and help you. Oh, sit down. You can't wash dishes. Oh, Rod, I wash a very pretty dish. That's right, John. You come along and help. Just ignore this husband of mine. Well, can you beat that? His lot you're volunteering to wash dishes. <laughs> you know, David, you were right. He's not such a bad guy once you get to know him. Yeah, I knew you'd like him. Swell pilot, too. Is he really? Yeah. But don't tell him I said so. You'll be better still when he learns that the more you learn about flying, the more you have to learn. Yeah, but John's a natural pilot, isn't he? I, I mean, well, he doesn't have to swat it all up out of books like I do. Oh, he could do with a bit more of the book for all that. You know, John and I got a bet on about who's going to be the best pilot. Yeah? Which do you think? Well, that'll teach Mary a lesson. What do you say, Marshal? You've flown with him? Well, I'd say the same, sir. The boy has the makings of a first-class pilot. His landings are rough because he thinks too much about him, flies too much with his brain, doesn't use his instinct enough. And you don't think the trouble might be something more organic? Well, Dean doesn't think so. That can only be a hunch, Dean. Well, sure, but my hunches aren't usually all that wrong. Well, they're not. All right, then. What do you suggest? Let me give him uh, another half hour's duel. He's only got that left anyway. What then? Let me send him solo. Supposing he doesn't improve in that half hour? Well, I want you to let me send him solo anyway. Well, that's a risk, Dean, I'm not too keen to take. Well, he recovers well. His airmanship is first class. He doesn't lose his head. You haven't answered my objection, Dean. Well, look, sir, here's the way it is. I hate to see first-class pilot material go to waste. This is a case where I think a slight risk is justified. In my opinion, the kid is suffering from just one thing, lack of confidence. And the only way you and I or anybody else can give it to him is to send him solo. What do you think, Marshal? I agree, sir. All right, Dean, provided you pay for a new stairman. Hey, David, we like taking you up alone. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Dean. Well, do a circuit and come in again. Uh, let me know how you get on. I'll be having a cup of coffee in the canteen. Yeah, I know. What? Oh, uh, you take 03 on your own. Do half an hour circuits and bumps. Okay. How did David get on? Why don't you taxi like that? Too impatient. Take off.
he's opened up again, most of them don't do that. Dave, you big twerp. Sorry, sir. No, forget it. You all right? Well, yeah, I think so, sir. Well, why didn't you go around again? <laughs> well, I, I had to get down sometime. Well, he's not hurt, sir. Good. What about that hunch of yours now, Dean? All right. When the M.O.'s OK, him, take him up again. Give him a good workout. Very well, sir. Come on, son. We're going for a little joy ride. There's nothing wrong with your nerve. Good. No, it's not good at all. I thought your trouble was under confidence. I was wrong. What is my trouble, then? I don't know. All I know is it's something that I can't cure. Do you mind if I have a cigarette, please? Here. Here, one of mine. Dean, what you're trying to tell me is that I'm never going to make a flyer, hmm? Oh, no, you'll make a flyer all right, but uh, you won't make a pilot. I only want to be a pilot. There are other things. I don't care about other things. Here. Now, look, David. You've no judgment of height. And that's one thing a pilot has just got to have if he wants to live. I'm sorry, kid, but that's the way it is. Couldn't you put me on the next course? Oh, sure, but uh, it'd be just a waste of your government's money and my time. Sorry, kid, I know just how you feel. I wanted to be a pilot more than I've ever wanted anything in my life. Say, what's all this pilot stuff anyway? Whoever said being a pilot was such a wonderful thing? You're a pilot, aren't you? Yeah, but heck, that was in the last war. It was different then. The pilot was king, the rest was nobody. But now? Well, what is a pilot but just a darn chauffeur anyway? Say, if I had my chance again, do you, do you know what I'd rather be even more than a pilot? Do you know? What? A navigator. Sure, I'm not kidding. 
It's the navigator in these big ships who gets all the medals these days. Oh, but hell, every member of a bomber crew is just as important as the pilot. You ought to know that. That's what they told me at my selection board. Well, they might have been right, son. Did you ever think of that? No. No, I'm afraid I didn't. I was pretty sure I was going to be a pilot. Chalk out 30 minutes, sir, Odin. Oh, sorry. I uh, quit, Johnny. Made it. I thought you were flying. Well, I am, at least I'm supposed to be. Well, I just thought I'd come and see you after it. Thanks, Johnny. Oh, bye. Hey, now, wait a second. I, I have got that address you gave me, haven't I? Well, yeah, I wrote it down for you about five times. Well, I suppose I've got it somewhere. Now, remember, Dave, on the way home, I'm coming to have that drink with you in Toronto. If you get the chance. Oh, we'll fix that all right. Hey, buddy, if you want to miss that train, it's okay by me. Bye, Johnny. So long, Dave. Be a good little navigator. Oh, I almost forgot. That's what I owe you. Don't spend it all at once. master unit. Now, this is stowed usually near the tail in heavy aircraft so that it's as far away as possible from the magnetic influences of the engine and other metal parts of the fuselage. Now, another important point is the fact that being gyro-controlled, the compass is unaffected by bank and you can get an immediate reading on the repeaters when turning. Dear Dave, the Thanks for the letter. Will maintain stability Yesterday we were given our wings, and now I suppose we can call ourselves pilots. Feels pretty good, I can tell you. We are due to go back to England right away. But we're getting embarkation leave first, so you can expect to see me in Toronto quite soon. Hand! Come in. Well, Wilton, what do you want? I'm on flying tonight, sir. Hey, you're flying with me, aren't you, fella? Yes, sir. I'd like to swap with somebody who's on tomorrow night, sir. Why? Well, I've got a particular reason for wanting to go to town tonight, sir. What's she like? It's not a she, sir. It's a pal of mine. He's on embarkation leave. He's on his way through, and it's the only night he's got, sir. Sorry, Wilton. No dice. Butler's ready to swap with me, sir. I know, I know, but supposing flying is scrubbed tomorrow night? I have a carefully planned program here. I can't afford to take chances. Besides, you're not well enough advanced in your work to be fooling around. All right, I'm sorry I asked. No harm asking. Yes, sir. Tell you what. I'm driving to town as soon as I've changed. You can come along with me. We can see this pal of yours and explain things. What do you say? Thanks. Thanks for the lift, sir. Okay, I'll come in with you. See him? No, sir. Uh, let's sit down over there and have a drink while we're waiting. A couple of Cokes, please. Okay, By the way, I've uh, arranged for your friend to sleep at the camp tonight. Oh, thank you, sir. Paging Mr. Wheeler. Paging Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> Sit 
cigarette? I don't think so. How long have you been over this side? Mm, nearly six months altogether. Looking forward to getting back, I bet. <laughs> Not all that much. How come? Oh, I don't know. I hope to go back with somebody up here. You will. Yeah, but not what I hope for. <clears throat> Johnny! Hello, Dave. Oh, good work, Johnny. I knew you'd make it. Sit down. Oh, um, Flight Lieutenant Moore, jo uh, Sergeant Ainsworth. How do you do, sir? Glad to know you, fella. You have a Coke? No, thanks. Another one, please. Right, sir. Feeling cold? Uh, no, sir. Take off your coat. Yes. Johnny. Yeah? May I? Oh. Oh, yes, I suppose they are a bit dazzling. Thank you, sir. Just a minute, Ainsworth. You, um, you know this guy Wilton pretty well, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. Well enough to give him a good hard kick in the seat of his pants? I think so, sir. Why? He's been making a fool of himself over his work here. It's the old story of the disappointed pilot. Worst case I've met so far. Thinks navigating's a sissy job. All right, sir. Now see what I can do. Might do more good coming from you. How about coming up with us in the Anson tonight? There'll be room. Thanks. I'd like to, sir. OK, I'll fix it. So long. Cheerio, sir. Three tenths cloud at 8,000. Wind at 2,000, 240, 15. At 4,000, 250, 20. Now, there's a cold front approaching from the west, and it's possible that it may reach this area before the end of the exercise, so be prepared for a recall signal. This cold front is causing snow flurries and a marked veering and increase in the strength of the wind at the cold front. Any questions? All right, sir. That's all. Are you taking navigation, instructor operator? No, why? Scared? No, I certainly will be if you're doing all the navigating. Oh, don't worry, we won't get lost. Apart from Moore being the best staff pilot in the station, we take an instructor wireless op and a UT wireless op with us. We can always get in on a beam. I'm glad to hear it. Hello, my Jen, Dave. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello, Ainsworth. Ah, very pretty. What's it going to be, bombers or fighters? No, bombers. Bombers, eh? Hmm. Bus driving. Walk aboard. Carry on. Is he flying with us? Yeah, I always try to fly with old Smithy. He does my map reading for me. Are you mad? Whatever he was like as a pilot, he's a damn good air bomber. <laughs> I'll believe that when I see him. Hi, Wilton. What time they say take off, what? Uh, 21.15. Oh, thanks. Press is our wireless up tonight, Johnny. Oh, how do you do? I'm fine. Well, must press on. See you later. <laughs> it's a it's a wonderful crew you've got, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> to navigator, recall signal, give me a course for base.
like the weather's closing in on us. Yeah. Navigator departed. Steer course 231 compass. Estimated time of arrival base 0133. 0133. Pilot to navigator, ETA base 0133. Navigator, still nothing to be seen. Where do we go from here? Navigator to pilot. Carry on. Next course, 270 compass. 270 compass. Hello, wireless operator. Still no joy? Still no luck with the receiver. Transmitter is working okay. What a use that is. Hello, Navigator. We've exactly 45 minutes fuel left. 45 minutes fuel left. Yes, sir. We've taken several bearings on him, and they vary so much. He must be doing a square search somewhere north of the airfield. Yes, sir, all aerodrome lights are on. Okay, sir, I'll do that. Sergeant, send a broadcast to all airfields within a 100-mile radius. Prepare for possible force landing. Okay, sir. Hello, George. George, telephone police, will you, and ask them to have their patrol look out for that overdue ensign? Okay, thanks. You getting a shed? No, sir. Keep on trying, eh? Navigator, 20 minutes fuel left, 20 minutes fuel left. You still want me to continue course? Well, I, 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 I don't know, sir. 
Do whatever you think best. Your navigator, you know. Checked your DR again? Uh, y yes. Air plot up to date? Uh, yes. Sure you applied variation the right way? Yes, sir, quite sure. So we should be over the airfield, shouldn't we? Yes, sir. Well, we aren't, are we? No, sir. What wind are you using? Uh, uh, 24520, sir. Oh, my gosh. We had a recall signal, sir. Really? How very interesting. Yeah, that's right. We had a recall signal. Well, well, there must have been a change of wind. Take your time, eh? We've got all of 15 minutes fuel left. Navigator to pilot. Steer 174 compass. 174 compass. 174 it is. I'm climbing, just in case. Five minutes to go. You'd better be right this time. Trust your navigator, fella. It's an old principle of flying. Coming, Dave? Yeah, you go on. I'll see it interrogation. Funny, for the first time tonight, I felt sick in the air. I know. A bloke who feels sick after every trip over Germany. He's a navigator, too. So I have a feeling, knowing that everyone's relying on you. Pilots feel like that, too, you know. Yeah, I suppose everyone in air crew gets it sometime or another. And well, it's worse for the navigator, because he gets it all the time. Why well, should a build is far worse for the pilot? What? The pilot? What does a pilot do, I'd like to know, except take off, land and keep on a course? Any half we can be taught to do that. Oh, right, you know damn well it's the pilot. Now, you take on more tonight. Pilot with bags and bags of experience, and, and what could he do except hang on to the ruddy stick and say, where are we? Of course, I know he gave me the wind change, but even so, who got you home? You did. That's right. Well, no, son. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to shoot a line, only he was shooting a line about pilots. Was he? That's all right, Wilton. 
guess there's no harm in being proud of getting us back tonight. That's your job, after all. Not a bad thing to be proud of your job. Yes, I suppose not. Better get along, fella. They're waiting for you at interrogation. Yes, sir. See you in the morning, Johnny. OK, good night, everyone. Good night, sir. Good night. You'll make a navigator all right. Just needed showing, that's all. Bit uh, lucky he had such a shaker tonight, wasn't it? Yes, I guess it was a bit lucky. I noticed the fuel after we got down. We had at least half an hour left. Sure, they always give you a good margin on these trips. Did you notice anything else? Was there anything else to notice? Only a little yellow light on the horizon the first time we came down. But he seemed so darn confident of hitting the airfield on ETA. Well, what was it? The airfield. This is where I get some sleep. Right, Sergeant. Good night, sir. Now smile. Hold it. Thank Go on, chaps, I'll follow. Well, 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 it's grand to see you again, Dave. How are you? Oh, old? fine, thanks. Oh, Johnny, you are a louse, really. You might have told me. Oh, well, they're dishing out all over the place these days, you know. Oh, I don't believe that. What happened? Oh, the usual sort of muck up. Landed on the wrong airdrome on the way back from Hamburg and wrote off the kite. But tell me, Dave, how's the girlfriend? Oh, she's fine. Send you a love. Oh, it's nice of her, Dave. Look, Dave, I... I did try my best to wangle on to the crew, but... Yeah, I heard about it from the navigation officer. Thanks for trying, anyway. The trouble is, another fellow has already got some up experience, and the others, the fellows on the cruise, well, are. That's all right, Johnny. You don't have to explain. Look, we're going out to the pub tonight for a bit of a booze up. How about coming along? Yeah, I'd love to. Good, I'll collect you at the mess. Well, so long, Dave. Glad the old firm's joined up again. Oh, my. What about that? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No. The starboard outer wasn't giving me the correct boost. We therefore developed a slight sway. But... Mac, you mean you're too ham with an udder? If you'd look after your ruddy engine as well as I fly the ruddy kite, there wouldn't be any bother. Ah, oh, oh, now, don't give a set. Well, Those kites will fly themselves. Oh, what a line. <laughs> what a lot of ungrateful the problems you are. Hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, I'm afraid I... Uh, well, quite... sir, Grain School, course 136. Good Lord, yes, of course. It was that thing that fooled me. Oh, I see here. Yeah. John, are you post this squadron now, sir? Me in a squadron? <laughs> no. No, occasionally they allow us instructors a couple of weeks on an operational station. We might even get a real trip in a real bomber. I think they'd do it to save us from going completely mad. Tell me, what happened to that fellow, that friend of yours? Ainsworth? Yes. Oh, he's here, sir. He's captain of a Langster. That's why I got myself posted to this squadron. It's a bit of luck, that. Yes, I suppose it is. It's like that, is it? Yes, it's like that. You see, we've got a bloke in the pool now who's already done a trip or two. There's no vacancies at the moment. I suppose we shall just have to stick you in the pool and you can carry on with your training. Carry on with my training, sir? I thought all that was over. Mm, sure you did. So did I when I first joined the squadron. Well, I'm just completing my second tour of ops. You can take it from me, Wilton. The training's only over when you're dead. Not one second before. Come on, I'll fix you up some tea.
Last night, for the third time this week, very strong forces of RAF Bomber Command delivered another concentrated attack upon the inland port of Bremen. In addition to high explosive bombs, 200,000 incendiaries were sent down. RAF pilots report that the fires were still visible when they were... Good morning, Sergeant Wilton. Oh, good morning, sir. You're the very bloke I've been looking for. You're flying with Ainsworth tonight. What, sir? I'm putting all an Ainsworth's crew. The navigator stopped a bit of flak the night before last. Nothing serious, but he'll be out of it for a bit. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Don't thank me. You're the only spare navigator. Oh, oh I see, sir. Briefing, 1745. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Johnny. Hello, Dave. How's things? Well, oh, fine, thanks. Hello, sir. Hello. Johnny, I'm flying with you tonight. Are you? Oh, well, that, that's fine. Hey, Japs, come over here. Fellas, you all know David Wilton? Uh, hi, hi, fellas. Well, uh, Dave's navigating for us tonight. Good show. Well, well, I'd better go and get my things together, I suppose. See you at the briefing, Johnny. Fine. So long. So long, kid. Holy suffering cats. Where is it tonight, Skipper, do you know? Well, I've only heard the rumour. So have I. That makes it ruddy suicide. Wish I had bags and bags more life insurance. What are you all binding about? I happen to know your Skipper's right when he says he's a crackerjack navigator. It's all right for you, sir. You don't have to fly with him. No, I don't have to. But I'm going to. I could have flown with the CO, but I've fixed it to fly with you boys instead. Well, cheerio, chaps. I'll see you later. The Pathfinders will be there already. The weather's good, we hope. So you should have no difficulty in finding the target. So prang it and prang it hard. As usual, I can't emphasize too much the importance of sticking bang on track. For one thing, if you break away from the main body, you'll most likely be picked off by fighters. And for another, if you vary from this particular course, you'll more than likely run into these very highly defended areas and get into a lot of trouble, which is entirely unnecessary. So navigators, keep on the top line. I think that's all. All right, chaps, and good luck. Oh, no. What's the trouble, Mike? Oh, I'm not going. It's Berlin, so the ruddy gunnery office is going to take my place. What a nerve that man's got. What are you beefing about? You don't know when you're in luck. Berlin with a navigator as green as my... <laughs> well, that's all right. He didn't hear. Anyway, it's not his fault. It's just our tough luck, that's all. Come on. Johnny, okay, Angus. Pull your finger out, Skipper. Yeah, okay. Ready, Dave? Yeah, sure. Here, yeah, let me give you a hand. There's a wizard film on at the palace this week. We might get over tomorrow night. What do you think? Yeah, I'd like to.
Navigated a pilot, ETA Danish coast, 0122, 0122, ETA Danish coast, 0122. Up to pilot. Lighters have just gone off the air. Good show. Pilot to all positions. We are approaching the enemy coast. Keep a sharp lookout for fighters and report anything you see. much chance of seeing anything in this mucky weather. Air vomit a pilot testing intercom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good air bombers go to heaven. Can you hear me, mother? <laughs> I hear you, sonny boy. Okay, skipper. Hello, navigator. Afraid I still can't give you a pinpoint. Can't see a ruddy thing down below. Okay, air bomber. Thanks. How's it coming, Dev? Oh, all right. I think. Navigated a pilot, steer course 130 compass, 125 true. 130 compass, 125 true. Okay, navigator. Course 130 compass. 125 true it is.
reception committee's out over Berlin, all right. Hell of a lot of stuff coming up. Plenty of stuff going down too, by the look of it. Doors open. Fighter flares above us. Fighter coming in port quarter, skip up. in a second, chaps. What's the damage? Wireless has copped it, Skipper. No joy at all. Transmitter working? I think so. At least I hope so. The air beds are gone for a button as well. Then we'll just have to rely on our navigator. It's like if we got such a good one. Holy suffering cats. Keep your eyes open for pinpoints, Curly. Is he badly hurt? It doesn't look too bad, but he's unconscious and he's bleeding pretty heavily. I think we'd better bring him up top. Right. Now we're relying on you, Dave. Give me a direct force to the nearest landing field. Okay, Skipper.
Service wind 26020. 26020. Right. Ditching stations, ditching stations. Stop the ditching station.
right, fellas, here it comes. Great for ditching! Great for ditching! How are you feeling, Curly? Where are we? Well, that's just it, Curly boy. Where the hell are we? Well, Dave's got it all worked out, Curly. Haven't you, Dave? Yeah, sure. I've checked it again. We're in exactly the same position to about half a mile. The SC rescue chaps will be here any minute now. Heck, they'd better be. I've got a date with the AOC tomorrow about my commission. Their marshals get awful mad if you keep them waiting. Well, that's one of your Marshal book for the minute, Ben. Oh, for God's sake, Angus, shut up. If you want to be gloomy, go and talk to the fishers. All right, all right. Can't you take a joke? No, not Scotch ones, I can't. Now, Dave, take a look at the first in bag. It doesn't seem to be leaving much of a trail. Okay. Now, that's better. You're supposed to be able to see that ten miles away. Tuesday? Ah, it should be. If we haven't drifted over the international date line. Good Lord. So I say it was Tuesday. I'm supposed to be going on a gunnery leader's course this afternoon. Relax, bud. They won't start without you. Well, I hope they do. Tonight of all nights, I've got me a red hot date. Redhead? You bet. A temper like a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up at this time, our navigator will have to do the explaining. Hear that, Dave? Sure. What about me, chaps? I'm getting married on Thursday. Married? Oh, you're kidding. Go on with you. Married? That's serious. We wouldn't be pulling our legs by any chance. No, of course my heart. Looks like the wee wifey's going to be awful lonely on her wedding night. Shut up, Angus. I'm, I'm sorry, Bob. Sorry? For what? You can all come to my wedding feast. The rations hold out. Keep grinding on that radio, Pete. Not much use without the kite aerial, Skipper. Well, keep on trying anyway, you never know. Okay, Skip.
Stop grinding that machine, Pete. Is that a... My God, it is. Quickly, Angus, fire that ferry pistol. Yes, when we're ditching the Pacific. Miserable plight, you. Nice navigating, Dave. Well, that's all right. You got us down in one piece. The old firm, eh? Yeah, the old firm. Hey, wait a moment. What about me? Don't I get any credit for having helped train you both? Well, certainly not. What for? Well, you, you couple of ungrateful. 